Hello YouTube, Angry Coal Miner here with a, another video, but I figured I'm not going to rant and rave about stuff, nah, not today, because today I just got done shooting my Model 29-10 44 Magnum, 4 inch barrel. Picked it up two days ago, and uh, I haven't had a chance to shoot it yet. I bought some 44 special rounds, and some 44 Magnum rounds. Now, got two empty shell casings. I probably just dumped, I don't know, 100 rounds out. Just trying to. Get used to the gun, if you will, because I want to open carry it, and uh, I gotta get used to it. So, here's a little comparison of the, you know, the uh, two different size shell empty shell casings. I don't know if I can get that in there. I don't the Magnum, I don't know, by a quarter of an inch, maybe eighth of an inch taller than the Special. Needless to say, that 44 Special, it's a, it's a good time. I mean, it's a good gun. But the Magnum, oh, man, I got a little... I get adrenaline when I shoot guns, but anyway, I think what I was trying to say, the Magnum, 44 Magnums, they kick like a mule. Not terrible, but they, they you could definitely tell whenever you're shooting the Special and the Magnum. Oh, just had a weird noise at my door. I don't know if y'all heard that or not, but somebody's trying to break in. We got Mr. 45 to greet him with. Well, it ain't windy. I don't know why there would be a thump at the door, but that was weird. Anyway, on with the video. I'm going to clean this gun. And, uh, because I never put a dirty gun away. I don't put it up dirty because I, I won't be able to sleep at night for one and two. You, just all, you should always properly maintain your firearms because some ammo is corrosive as and here my 45 it's my everyday concealed carry big bore guns i love them uh smith and wesson m p shield 2.0 just a plain jane 45 m p i might even clean this old girl up if i got time but i didn't shoot it today so Really ain't no sense. I, I don't know. I just take them apart, clean them, put them back together. This is my new baby. I absolutely love this gun. You can see it's cleared. Safe to clean. It, it's a good gun. Uh, anyway, yeah, I uh, usually have a little helper. My son, Aiden, who he usually uh, you know, does the videos with the kill you for me he, he'll hold the camera while i do my video but he isn't here right now he is uh at his friend's house I keep hearing stuff outside they won't like it they come in <laughs> which i don't know i don't know that racket i just made up surprised there's anything around here that can get scared off but, yeah, the Model 29-10 Classic is a fantastic gun. I paid a pretty penny for it. Uh, it was expensive. But, worth every penny. Uh, hopefully here, within the next day or two, depending on the weather, I'll have my son, Aiden, hold the phone for me, because I don't have a GoPro yet. Uh, maybe that's an investment I might be making, depending. But it's a beautiful gun, once again. You know I mean, you can't go wrong with a good revolver. 
dependable. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're not fail-proof, but they definitely hold up better than semi-automatics. Which, I mean, I like my semi-automatics too. I just like my guns. But anyway, YouTube, I figured I'd just touch base and tell you that if you're thinking about buying a Model 29, you got the extra money, or you've been saving up, Something going on outside. Uh, anyway, you got the extra money. You start you know, saving up. Get it. You live once. You only live once. Might as well treat yourself right and get yourself something nice every now and then. Uh, you go. You get quality with Smith and Wesson. Um, here in the next, I don't know, week or two, I'm waiting on stuff. I bought a. A uh, Bigfoot everyday carry, maybe my, my uh, gun belt, Bigfoot gun belt. I watch a lot of reviews on it. Uh, whenever I carry my 45, it definitely makes my regular leather belt sag some. I don't know if anybody's had that issue with their, you know, got to tighten your belt up a little bit more to keep your belt, your gun from sagging. Uh, I bought some other stuff for the 44, a new holster. They didn't have anything at the gun shop that I bought, uh, where I bought the gun, as far as, they got a, a Velcro holster, I paid like eight bucks for it, but, I don't know, I don't like Velcro holsters, they're cheap, but that's it, I mean, I like a good leather holster with a nice velvet interior to uh, protect your finish on your pistol, but, uh, I bought uh, some speed loaders, I'm hoping they work from Safari Land. crickets i got a scorpion in there for a little baby anyway yeah back on subject uh some other stuff too i, I spent a good bit of money the last couple days but like you said you only live once treat yourself right get yourself something nice um, this is gonna wrap it up anyway i'm gonna get to cleaning this gun um no not hard to clean a lot simpler than cleaning the semi-automatic which I should probably do. I mean, this weekend, I will uh, clean all my guns just to clean them. Tear down the AK. Shotgun should be fine, but I'll check it. It's been sitting. Wipe it all down. I anyway, hope you guys will take care out there. We're supposed to get some snow this weekend. Be safe if we get it. Pray to God we don't, because the other day it was like 50 degrees, and it was perfect. Well, not perfect. 70s perfect. I'm going to stop talking. I told you all like two minutes ago that, um, yeah, another look at that gun. Because it is beautiful. I mean, that is a work of art. Quality, craftsmanship. I mean, you can't go wrong with a Model 29. All right, well, you all take care.